learning about river otters. They're native to Utah, but are classified as a rare species. Looking at the world differently, like how would an animal behave? What would they use as a den? Where would they want to hang out? Would they like this water? Like, it makes me think about what it's like for them and how they see the world. About 10 student researchers led by Rosetta Chen at Weber State University teamed up with the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium to study river otters. They started in October and plan to go on for the next few months. They like to come onto the riverbed. Um, they roll around, um, they communicate. So every two weeks, a team comes out to retrieve the camera they put in the last time they were here, and they go along the Weber River looking for new spots to place the cameras. The goal is to find signs of river otters and learn more about these animals. To know where they are, to understand um, where they are in their population, how many's out there. And I'm mostly excited for the future, especially like, um, I'm really interested in behavior and culture and every animal will have their own like little culture. What is Utah river otter culture? We don't know. I want to know. <laughs> These are the cameras. Yeah, it looks like this one didn't catch anything, but that's okay. That's just part of it. Students walking along the river or in it to find the best spots to hopefully see river otters. West one, one, one. 54.928. The team set up a camera we want it kinda, I think it's good. in this area because they found wood possibly chewed by beavers. You're more likely to find river otters if there's beaver signs because they use their den. River otters are a good indicator of the health of an ecosystem, so their presence or absence can inform people about what needs to be done. Uh, where they are so people can do research and make the conservation laws. By the Weber River, I am Maitili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.